Hi everyone, my name is Somil Vora. I'm a product manager here at Wasabi. And today I'm going to show you how to configure LucidLink with Wasabi. LucidLink file space is a cloud native NAS solution which provides high performance file access to Wasabi, extending its usefulness to file based production workloads. Please note that all the information covered in this video is also detailed in our knowledge base article. How do I use LucidLink with Wasabi? Before we get started, we need to ensure we meet all the requirements needed to configure LucidLink with Wasabi. These requirements are listed under the prerequisite section of our knowledge base article. To get started, we need an active LucidLink subscription, a LucidLink client installed on the machine that we'll be using, and an active Wasabi account. To get started, log into your LucidLink portal. As part of the LucidLink sign up process, you are required to set up a domain. In our example, our domain is called Wasabi Test. To create a new file space, click on Create a New File Space. You will be presented with three options. To use Wasabi with LucidLink, you can choose a custom file space or the basic file space. When you choose the basic file space option, a Wasabi account is created by LucidLink for you. But with this option, you may not be able to use all the features that are provided by LucidLink. Using the custom file space option, you are able to bring your own Wasabi account and also utilize the features that are provided by LucidLink, including custom snapshots and SSO integration. For this example, we'll be configuring a custom file space as we'll be using our own Wasabi account. Click on the custom file space and then next, provide a name for your file space. Click next. You will be presented with options for storage providers. Click on Wasabi. Here you'll be presented with all the regions that you can choose for your Wasabi bucket. In our example, I have created a bucket in the US East 1 region. So I'm going to select Ashburn, Virginia, which is the US East 1 region of Wasabi. Check the Configure Advanced Settings checkbox and click Next. Here you can provide the name of the bucket that was created to use with this file space. Provide the name of your bucket and click Next. In the summary page, review all the settings of your workspace and then click Create. You will be sent back to the LucidLink portal where your file space will be created. Once the file space is created, you need to initialize it. So click on Initialize. This opens Initialize a File Space dialog box. This details the steps that we would be taking next. Also, if you have not yet installed the LucidLink client, you will be able to download it from the link provided here. Click on Launch the Desktop Client, and then click Allow. On your LucidLink client, you now need to provide the Wasabi API keys. Enter the access key, the secret key, and click Next. Provide a root password for this file space. Then click on Initialize. Now your file space is ready to use. The LucidLink file space is now displayed on the file explorer as a drive. You can drop our video files into this folder and the files will be uploaded to your Wasabi bucket. It's extremely simple to upload files into the file space. Just go ahead, select a video, drag and drop it in your file space. As you can see, the file has finished uploading. You can now even check your Wasabi bucket and you will see the data inside the bucket. Please note that when LucidLink uploads data to Wasabi, it is in proprietary LucidLink format. You might be able to see a video file in your file space, but in Wasabi, the data will be uploaded in the form of bytes. For detailed instructions on how to use LucidLink with Wasabi, you can refer to our knowledge base article.
which details the configuration, step-by-step -step instructions, along with screenshots. Hope this was helpful. Thank you for watching.